Appel Tutorial Part 103 Write and Read a Database File Appel supports database management files, DBM for short, which is a type of database file. There are various database classes available. The one most likely to be on your computer is SDBM. Others available are ODBM, NDBM, GDBM, and there's a few others. So whatever database class you have, you just append the underscore file to it. And we can use file handling symbolic constants by loading the module FCNTL. So first of all, to write a database file, we need to connect or tie to the database. So we use the tie function. Okay, so DBM files are hash based, so we tie a file to a hash and put the data in that hash before we store it onto disk. So we're going to tie our hash and we use our database class to tie our hash to the database. And now we put the name of our file that we're going to write to in here. So that by default will create a file called data.pag. And now we put in our symbolic constants from the FCNTL module. So there is a number of them. So we want to open our file to read and write. And if the file does not exist, we need to create it. And if the file already exists, we can make that fail and then we can mod 644 okay so now let's create our hash So after opening and writing our hash to the database, we need to untie, which is close the database. Okay, so now if we run this, it will create a file in the Perl work directory. Two files actually, data.pag and data.dir. Okay, so although this is set to read and write, we need to loop through our returned hash. So let's say while key. value each hash So 
So let's comment out our hash and run this. And here we have our hash. We could also print out individual items from the hash. Adios. Okay, so we can shorten our read so let's just copy this line here now we can take out this here just to shorten it and that will still read our file since we've finished writing at the moment so let's comment this out and it returns our hash. Okay, so now let's add something new to our hash. So let's say hash bonjour equals au revoir so we do that with append so let's just copy this and pop it above read here and now we simply change this to append And when we run this, it will add the key value pair bonjour au revoir to our hash. So let's run this. And we can also remove our key value pair. So Let's run this. And we're back to where we began. Okay, so now finally let's truncate the database file, which means just to totally empty it. So let's copy this. Let's comment out the append. And we can say write only and trunk. And let's run this. And this should totally empty our database file. So that's how to write and read a database file.